Oh my, hi everyone. I bet you thought I got lost, huh? Well, I'm back and I got some stuff I want to show you. Uh, it has been one crazy week here at my house and I have not had a chance to do any filming. So I thought I better pop on today and do some filming because I don't want to lose y'all. So what I'm going to do is get started with what I want to show you. So, I went to the dollar, uh, family dollar is what it was, family dollar, guys, and look what I found at the family dollar. The same paints that are selling at the Dollar Tree are at the family dollar, and they're the rich art brand, but this can be found in the Crafter Square Owl. Um, same stuff as the Acrylicology, Acrylicology is called. And I found these wonderful new colors. So I grabbed them up and they're only a dollar. Still one dollar. So that's a really good buy. Remember I did a video, um, two videos ago, and I tested out this paint. So I was happy to find those colors. I thought they were really, really pretty. And also at that family dollar, I found uh, these Crafter Square um, 6x8 stretch canvases. Now, I don't know if you all know, but the Family Dollar and the Dollar General are all kind of connected in with the Dollar Tree. They're all, I don't know if they're owned by the same company or what, but they're all kind of tied into each other. So, um, I found these there at the Family Dollar, so I grabbed these three, and that's all I found there at that one. Then I went to the Dollar Tree, and guys, look what they have here at the Dollar Tree. It is a Crafter Square pencil and brush organizer. Um, there's 49 holes, and then you um, put your brushes down through. I haven't put this together yet, and it's very simple. I owned one of these before, and guys, when you um, price these elsewhere, they run around 10 around ten dollars I want to say so it's very simple to put together you're gonna take your legs and you're just gonna line it up with the um, lines and you're gonna punch push those through until it goes through and catches Let's see if we can get this and see how easy it is to put together well I'm not getting this in here very easy look at that it doesn't want to go okay uh, well, I guess it would help if I turned it the right way, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a crazy week. My, uh, I had a cat that was ill about 10 days ago, and uh, he had a uh, blocked urinary tract, and I thought we was going to lose him, and then he's getting better. I took him to the vet, so he's doing much better, and then... Um, I had another cat that got pink eye. So I had her at the vet today and she's got on the right medicine and she's doing really good now. She's gonna be getting better. Um, okay, so now let's see. Let's put these into this bottom area so we can get those hooked together. Okay. I sure hope I'm putting this together right because I think for some reason I've got it backwards. Yeah. This might not be as easy as I thought it was going to be, huh? Alright, let's see. They all go down in. I'm not getting this together right, guys. This should be a whole lot easier than it is. Let's try it this way. Alright. Well, that one easier. Let's try this one and this one. Okay. I bet you guys thought I got lost somewhere. I thought, oh my, I've got to go film. Alright. Now, we're getting this top part on and we're just going to click it into place. Alright. So, that's what it looks like. Okay. And then, what you do you take your brushes and you slide them down through the slots like this. So it's really, really nice. 
and it'll hold all of your pencils and your paint brushes ready to use okay so not bad for a dollar not bad at all okay so this is five inches tall by five and three quarters uh, well five and a half, three quarters tall five inches wide okay and that's the only color they had was just white all right so what else I found at the Dollar Tree is just the bigger canvases from Crafter Square these are the eight by ten and I'm noticing also that they have these in the panels with just the flat cardboard backing but I like the stretch canvas for like finished work and I do buy those panels for practice work so got those okay and then the Dollar General now had a 50% off the last couple days of their summer items so there I found the boxes I always like to try to get a newer box for storage so I found this one and I really liked what it said find joy in the simplicity and it's lined you know with the really pretty pink and white stripe and the lid um, is decorated and in the bottom looks like this I'll turn around the right way you guys can see it and then on this side you can label your whatever you want in there so this was originally four dollars and I only paid two dollars for it all right and the next thing I want to share with you guys is this book. I found this Organizing Your Craft Space book. Um, it's a really good book. Uh, it was a used book, so it was written in. And there's like little tests you can take. Shows you ideas, different ways to organize your stuff in your craft room by using just different items that you have. And can you hear those? crickets and Katie did. I don't know what they are but I goodness I can hear them. It's night so I'm I never film at night but um, anyway I can hear them. Um, but this is a really good book. It's, I love all the colored uh, pics in it. Look at that studio. Oh gosh look at that. I love that. But anyway it's um, organizing your craft space and I found this on eBay also for just a little bit of nothing like like five dollars I think. Okay, one more thing I want to share with you guys. So I've been working on a pocket letter in between running to the vets and every other places. Um, the items I showed was over a week span of collecting all this stuff. So the pocket letter I'm working on is a beach theme slash ocean theme. So what I did, and it's no way near finished, but it's a start. I took artist trading cards and I worked in watercolor and I did these watercolor um, little artworks with um, just my regular watercolors that I have. I got so many. And I just kind of did up some watercolor themed cards. And here's some more that I did. There's a wave, an ocean theme. This is just like a watermark. And then this was not quite finished yet. This is like some reef, coral reef, and then a uh, some sore fish but anyway when I get everything finished um, with the cards I'll do a how-to and I will start adding the embellishments to this um, I don't know, I want that one over here to this one so you guys can kind of see it so this will be my very first pocket letter but I wanted to kind of tie in my like artwork and not use so much um, ready-made paper in the background so I'll, I'll decorate this all up and do my thing with it and I'll add the embellishments and everything else that can go with it. So this video is now nine minutes long and I did not think I was going to be on here this long. So guys, I will see you soon in my next video. Take care everybody and thank you for subscribing and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to click the bell for notifications. And don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.